Now, your news on the go. One woman is in critical condition this morning after police say her husband shot her in the head. Just before 1230 yesterday afternoon, police were called to the couple's home on Kingston Road. According to the Onondaga County Sheriff's Office, the husband, 79-year-old Sherman Cottrell, called 911 saying his wife, she shot his wife, 60-year-old Donna Cottrell, twice. When first responders got to the home, Sherman started complaining of chest pain. He was taken to Krause Hospital. Police are waiting for him to be released so they can question him about this shooting. This morning, Oneida County Sheriffs are investigating a deadly crash. Just before midnight Saturday, deputies were called to a one-car crash along Meadows Road in the town of Ansville. This morning, we're learning 26-year-old Christopher Rhodes of Rome drifted into the opposite lane while going around a curve and hit a tree. He died at the scene. No one else was in the car. If you take Route 31 in the village of Baldwinsville, get ready to take a detour this week. The state DOT is shutting down the road between Spruce and Mechanic Streets for repairs on the railroad. Work is expected to last all week. A detour will take you to State Route 370 and State Route 631. Later today, the Liverpool School Board is meeting to possibly vote on a plan to keep its current mascot. The district argues the state order to phase out Native American mascot names does not apply to its warrior. If the state finds Liverpool in violation, the district will create a committee to come up with a replacement by the summer of 2025. In the city of Syracuse, the school district there, the Superintendent Parent Advisory Council is hosting a community meeting tomorrow to talk about the change in start times for the upcoming school year. In September, classes will begin earlier to accommodate the bus driver shortage. The town hall begins at 5 o'clock at the library on South Salina Street. From your local election headquarters, tomorrow is primary day in New York, and there are several town and city council elections on the ballot. Polls open at 6 in the morning. They stay open until 9 at night. So get out and vote. From polls to pools, McKinley Park pool in Syracuse is opening for the season today. Since school is out, pool hours are now from noon to 6, Monday through Saturday, and 1 to 6 on Sundays. The city of Oswego also making a splash. The Charles E. Gallagher pool is opening for the season, and swimming is free. Hours are 1230 to 5, Monday through Friday, and on the weekends, the pool is open from noon to 5.